uh, on the day that Alan Shepard was launched, and I wasn't on, on the program, but of course the Redstone missile utilized a, a Rocketdyne engine, we were interested in the program. I was concerned from the standpoint that the launch vehicle prior to, to putting a man on top of this thing wasn't successful. We all recognized that we were in a high-risk business and that these kind of things happen. In the short period of time that I was a test engineer pushing the button to run an engine, I blew two of them on the test stand. And here again, that's what we did. We, we picked up the pieces and put another engine on the stand and went again. The common thing to see when you looked out here was about, seems like about 50% of them went out of sight. The other 50%, you saw something happen to them. <laughs> It either blew on the pad or it blew shortly thereafter. It was an exciting thing to think that we're, we're putting a man on this thing. So we were tracking things. And of course, the redstone was the item of the day because a man was on top of this not all that reliable yet launch vehicle. And so I was concerned enough that I decided that I want to be part of history here. And I went home and got my little Keystone 8 millimeter camera and I went out on the jetty and, and filmed the, the launch itself. Well, there were a lot of people, you know, on the beach. I don't recall that there was very many of us standing out there at the tip of the jetty. This was a big deal, you know, putting that first man in space. Even though it was just a suborbital flight, this was a big deal. It was an exciting time and we knew we were involved in something really important. I'm Lee Solid. And that's my previously untold story from the Rocket Range.